Here's a technique to align a stereo image using Photoshop. First I'd like to get uh, the right and left image on top of each other, so in this case I'm going to drag the left image over on top of the right image by using the Move tool, holding down the Shift key, clicking and dragging. Holding down the Shift key causes it to align. I don't need this image anymore, because now I have both images as layers on top of each other. Now the trick is to align it. Most people typically set the opacity down to 50% or so, so you can see both images, and then you can use the Move tool to move the images to the left or right, and up and down to try to align them. I found that I found it a little bit easier to leave the opacity at 100% and set the blending mode to difference. This subtracts the two pictures from each other. Now if you use the Move tool and start moving the image back and forth, you'll see this little layer of black or this little area of black that moves that moves back through the image, back towards infinity. Now if I start moving it to the left again, you'll see it gradually coming up close. And about now it's up at the front gear. It's working its way up the body of the airplane now, halfway up the nose, almost to the tip here. Start moving it back again, but that tells me where the stereo window is going to be. I can visualize it quite easily without having to view the image in 3D. And so I'll just set that little black line just ahead of the front landing gear here. That will allow the, the front of the airplane to stick out through the window and everything else be behind it. So now I just take my crop tool, crop the image how I'd like it to be. Of course, leaving out this object that's way too close in the front. And I can set my difference, my mode back to normal. And now I have a perfectly aligned stereo image. One image on top of the other, and at this point I can easily convert it into an anaglyph or a side-by-side -side, uh, stereo pair.